So, right? Okay. So can you give a couple of examples, the sort of practical implementation of mushroom technologies that um, could help with bioremediation and also with um, food security, growing food more locally? Well, uh, fungi create soils. The simplest way of describing it is fungi break down rocks and rocks become more fragile and they crumble and they have cavities that hold water. And so the myceliation of habitats retains water in the habitat. When you're retaining water, you benefit plants. So myceliated habitats tend to be water, more to be water retentive, less erosion, and support biological communities that, that thrive within the environment. So fungi predetermine downstream many of the biological communities that live upon the mycelial mats that are growing underneath the ground. Practical solutions would include, unfortunately, all habitats are becoming increasingly more contaminated. So with people wonder when they buy a new tire, they drive down the road and 50,000 miles later, they have to buy a new tire. Where did the hydrocarbons go? They went on the road. Now they're washing into the streams and impugning, you know, that, uh, the ecosystems of the fisheries, you know, and aquatic animals, you know, birds, legions of other organisms. So what these fungi do so well is they break down plant tissue, especially lignin and cellulose, producing enzymes, lignases and cellulases. These are little Pac-Man like uh, enzymes that go around and they dismantle large molecular complexes into simpler forms. Well, by a wonderful quirk of nature, those same enzymes break down oil. And so breaking down hydrocarbons with enzymes with fungi is one way of decontaminating a habitat. And one test of habitat toxicity is called the worm toxicity test. And you put 100 worms into a vessel with soil. If it's toxic, it's really toxic, all the worms die. And in our experiments, we do mycelium onto that toxic soil, and it breaks down the toxins. You put the 100 worms into the, into the soil that was formerly toxic, and they live and reproduce. That is a biological test of toxicity because invertebrates are especially sensitive to hydrocarbon contamination. There's dozens of examples like that, and you can use the mycelium as filtration media to prevent coliform bacteria and toxic waste from flowing in the downstream, downstream uh, environments and so the membranes of the mycelium are digestive mem mem membranes. They're really externalized stomachs and we share a more common evolutionary history with fungi than we do with any other kingdom. Splitting off from fungi about 650 million years ago, fungi went the route of externally digesting its nutrients. We went the route of encapsulating our nutrients within a cellular sac, producing digestive enzymes within. And that was, there was basically one of the major splits between fungi and animals. And, and so Using these fungal membranes, the wonderful thing about them is they have plasticity um, uh, of use. They're extremely resilient, adaptive, and they have trillions upon trillions of end branchings. And the work of Patrick Hickey in particular has shown that these mycelial me uh, membranes are, are advancing um, bundles of nuclei uh, that are in constant migration throughout the network. And if there's a new genetic expression that produces a new enzyme that's targeted again and successful against a new toxin, what will happen? Well, before that enzyme was produced, the mycelium wouldn't advance into that toxin. After that enzyme is produced, the mycelium de facto grows into that toxin. That then information that that network has gained is genetically encoded into the network, and so these membranes learn, and they can learn very quickly. And so these things are like extant you know, um, mycelial uh, interface computers that are constantly sorting and figuring out uh, different strategies of overcoming obstacles. And we face a lot of obstacles, but these things are a lot smarter than we are. And I think engaging my cellular networks for advancing, you know, growing food in toxic habitats, uh, preventing content downstream contamination, bolstering biodiversity by creating the soil matrix that gives spring to life forms, all of these are part of the, uh, within the tool set of, of the skill base that these mycelial networks have resident within them.